Hello human and welcome back to my channel. So, how are you doing? I hope all of you are doing fine. So today as you can see this animation that I make here, not really animation, it's more to animatic. I hope you're gonna enjoy this speed animation, not really animation as I told you, it's animatic. This is the last part which is Little Nightmares 3, old friend anew of my animatic, okay? And uh, if you watch this video until the end, because I know some people just skip to the end to see the end process, but it's okay, at least you watch my video, so I appreciate it. So, those who are kind enough to watch until the end, from the beginning till the end, I thank you guys very much because you guys are very kind and nice. I like people who watch my stuff until the end. I appreciate it. And also talk about it at the end of the video in the comment section. It makes me really happy. Still, uh, it, it shows that you appreciate my content, my hard work, is why I felt happy. And I will heart every single comment. Um, sorry that I didn't reply to all of you. It's just that sometimes I don't know what I want to reply. And like, I have this tendency of if I reply to someone, I will decide to, you know, delete it. Because I felt like, mm, I felt like I'm being weird. <laughs> Anyway, as you can see, if you watch this video till the end, you will see a lot of black and white screen appearing constantly. It's because when I animate, it crash a lot. And luckily, I always have this habit of control S, which is saving the file. Every time I work on, on it, like I draw this character layer and then I control save. I control S. Control S is a shortcut on a keyboard to save. Okay? So basically I save a lot when I do animation because I have this traumatizing situation. It this is every artist's fear. If you didn't save your work, it'll just disappear and you have to start from scratch. And that has happened to me before. Mm, I do I do not wish to remember that moment. It was so stressful, I was depressed, I literally felt very emotionally hurt to the extent I go through 5 stages of grief, literally. And in the end, I just have to accept it because like, I cannot retrieve the files that I didn't, I didn't save in time and just poof, out of existence. <sighs> but anyway... Still, the release date for the Little Nightmares Old Friend and New Part 3 animatic of mine. Um, I did tell that, I did say to my fan that it's gonna be released within this month. But I kinda doubt my capability to do so. So I got a feeling it's gonna be released on um, March like that. Okay, so bear with me, okay? And actually right now, I'm actually having stomach pain right now. I'm having this, uh, what you call it, uh, heartburn, something like that, stomach burn, something like that. Kind of forgot, but my belly is feeling the pain because I ate too fast. I ate too fast, I hurt my belly. Remind me to chew my food more properly next time, I swear. God dang. I got to, it's, it's the day number three, okay? And at least the pain is reduced today. Yesterday, it was painful. The day before that, my stomach started to feel weird. Yesterday, it feels terrible. But today, it feels fine. And stupidly enough, I just noticed that I can just eat painkiller. But then again, I don't feel like to because I don't want to depend on medicine too much. Because, yeah. Mm, it's like you depend too much on antibiotic. And it gets to the higher dose to the point that... There's no any higher dose than that, so it's not good for your health. So you have to depend on your immunity in the end. And sorry, my voice sounds different sometimes. It's because I'm too tired of talking, to be honest, sometimes. And also, it makes my stomach feel weird when I talk too long. <clears throat> anyway, another thing that I want to talk about, aside from the little nightmare star stuff, is... Sorry, I stuttered again, God damn it. <laughs> Um, another stuff that I want to speak of is about my Among Us animation. I don't know if I want to make it into animation in the end. I kind of have 
feeling like changing my mind probably want to make it into a game video you know like markiplier into space markiplier haste um something like that i only play that too i know another one which is dating with markiplier but i don't feel like i want to play that one because <laughs> i only see him as an idol i don't see him as that far i do not want to play that one it feels weird just looking at the title i'm like nah no i i am not prepared to play this game <laughs> But if you guys are interested, go ahead and play his game. It's really fun. Although I lose track of how many timelines it is, there's a lot of timelines. It's like an Undertale or RPG games where it has loads of ending and it has loads of choices. And I have difficulty trying to keep track of which one that I have been through before. Which sometimes I ended up in the same ending. So yeah, that's the kind of game that I want to work on my YouTube right now. But in my own way, in my own story, the Tattletale, the Alice Shattered Will, and everything else, it's gonna be very fun, alright? Although, just there's one problem, which is my art style. I despise the fact that my art style seems to have similarity to anime. I don't want my animation and my art to look anime-ish. I want them to look cartoonish, cartoonish, very much because like I hate seeing how it looks like anime too much. I want it to have cartoonish feeling. Like god dang, it's so difficult. And has any of you watched Has Been Hotel? Um, for for people who are younger, I do not recommend you to watch it because it has a lot of adult stuff in there, you know, horror, adult stuff, gore, um, <clears throat> that stuff too, but I proceed to skip that part, to be honest. I cannot bear to watch that part because as a Muslim, <laughs> that part is very not comfortable to me. But the only reason I watch it because the storyline is interesting, despite it kind of goes against my religion. <laughs> but still, one thing that makes me watch that story so much is because of the beautiful, brilliant art style. I love Vivzy Pop's art style because she makes the character have like different appearance, different look, different personality. Like they have their specialty for each one of the character. Meanwhile, anime, you see, it's it's obvious for you to to see which one is a character that is standout and character that isn't standout. For example, if that character plays an important role, like they are the character that is always evolving around the protagonist, then yes, that character will have very abnormal appearances like they have pink hair they have blue hair they have much different appearances meanwhile the normal character that just goes in the background they all have normal person appearances like chocolate hair black hair brown eye simple nothing too obvious <laughs> that's why i don't want my art to look like anime because anime sometimes they they only focus on the main character they don't focus on the background character like background character they didn't put any easter egg while some cartoon cartoon they put easter egg i love it and undertale does that too they make the background character have their own design they don't make the background character have no normal like normal design like they have they have bear, they have dog, they have alien-like creature, they have sea creature, like, gosh, so many different variety. I love that. But unfortunately, I am having difficulty of making too many characters at once. <laughs> I do have a lot of idea, but when I draw that idea, it's like, this is not how I imagine them to look inside my head. <laughs> Well, most of them manage to work properly, but not all of them. So, yeah. I hope you look forward to the... Probably the first game I'm gonna name it the... The first game I probably gonna name it a... What's the name? Sorry, I voice crack. The first game 
is about a girl who have braided hair and I think I'm gonna name her Ashley at the end of the game but at the beginning of the game her name is gonna be Rosaline although I have to warn you this this story one this game story is not really for young people to see because it has quite gore stuff and adult stuff in there but it's not gonna be visual though I'm just gonna write it down because it's about trauma it's about trauma okay and my friend has this trauma like I'm making that character based on my friend but I'm not gonna tell you which friend of mine she is living very happily and peacefully right now hopefully she still is because I haven't really been in contact with her for much long and everything and this secret I shall keep within me till my grave I'm not gonna tell you who she is I'm not gonna tell you where she is where she live and everything because I swore I will keep it a secret the only reason I mentioned of it is because I make a character that kind of reminds me of her but the story is not completely like her okay the story I made it as original as possible which is difficult to make it original as possible because I still kind of like insert some other stuff that related to um, other references so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this whole entire video along with me yapping babbling whatever it is you probably get bored of me talking because i'm not as entertaining as you know those radio people speaker out there and everything i wish i could have vtuber model so that i can show my character talking instead but <sighs> even if i use the sprite that i make it will cover the whole screen and defeat the purpose of me wanting animator to see how I animate and do animatic and you guys learning how I animate so that's why I just use my logo so anyway that's it for this whole entire video so thank you you guys for watching and I'll see you guys again in the next video oh before I forget be sure to like subscribe and comment on my video if you want to or share my video but if you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm not going to force you. So, that's it for this video. Be sure to watch my video, previous video, if you are interested, okay? Up to you. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye. And also, stay awesome.